horrified to learn about Rico Yan's untimely death at the Das Palmas Resort in Palawan, on March 29, 2002, which happened on Good Friday. The actor's co-workers were heartbroken as well when they learned the news. Even though the actor had already passed away in the morning, the radio didn't break the terrible news until the afternoon because social media was still not widely used at the time. Yan passed away while on vacation at the upscale resort during Holy Week, with five of his pals. He passed away in 2002 at the age of 27. Despite his family's wishes, according to reports, Yan chose to travel to Palawan in order to film a segment for a Kapamilya television program, rather than participate in the Holy Week vacation in Cebu. When Claudine Barreto, Jan's ex-girlfriend, awoke the next morning, she was in a state of shock. She required sedation because she was inconsolable. Police concluded, there was no foul play in Jan's death. Then Chief Superintendent Edgardo Aglipe stated that, two investigative teams, had discovered that Yan had passed away in his sleep, from cardiac arrest, brought on by, hemorrhagic pancreatitis. On April 4, 2002, Yan was buried in the Manila Memorial Park, in Paranaque City. One of the tributes, to the deceased actor on Facebook was, gone too soon but always in our hearts. When Yan passed away, he was a young hero. In 1998, he served as the Department of Education, Culture, and Sports as a spokesperson. Yan was appointed the Pledge 25 spokesman for the Philippine National Red Cross, a year later. Rico Yan has not been forgotten. Rico had a larger-than-life attitude that was evident outside of the entertainment industry, in addition to his boyish charms. Thank you.